In the festive season, we're often reminded, it's better to give than to receive. Here are 10 lavish examples where the getting must have been pretty good, too. From gigantic gems to profligate nuptials, art masterpieces to jets and super yachts, these tycoon treats set the standard for extravagant gifting. Point one. The jewel in the crown The last Maharaja of the Sikh Empire, Julip Singh presented Queen Victoria with the 186 karat Koh i Noor diamond in 1849. Considering the giant gem a little dull, Victoria's consort Prince Albert had it cut down to a more brilliant 105.6 carats three years later. Today it's set in the Queen Mother's crown and is a highlight of the British crown jewels. Once the largest diamond ever found, its value is inestimable. By way of comparison, the 45.42 carat Hope diamond is said to be worth in excess of $250 million, too. Freedom ain't free already cash strapped after the Seven Years' War, in the 1770s, France funded the American War of Independence to the tune of approximately $20 billion in today's money, directly leading to a major financial crisis and the French Revolution. Helping give the American people freedom from British domination could be said to have cost King Louis XVI not only beaucoup d'argent, but his crown, and his head. Later, the French presented the United States with the grandiose gift of the Statue of Liberty as a souvenir of their commingled liberation from royal rule. In 1917, New York banker Morton Planck traded his six-story Fifth Avenue mansion for a $1 million, $20 million in today's dollars pearl necklace from Cartier, a gift for his young wife. A few years later, Mikimoto's invention of cultured pearls caused prices to crash, and the necklace was sold for just $150,000 after Mrs. Planck's death in 1956. The former Planck Mansion, which has served as Cartier's New York flagship store for almost a century, would today be worth hundreds of millions, making the banker's barter one of history's most unfortunate, and the gift ultimately one of the most expensive ever. In 2003, cosmetics billionaire Leonard Lauder gave his $1.1 billion collection of Cubist masterpieces including works by Pablo Picasso, Georges Braque, Juan Gris and Fernand Ledger to New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, the largest art donation of all time. Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich has bought his art-loving wife, the gallery owner and editor Dasha Dukova, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of masterpieces during the course of their decade-plus relationship. Abramovich's generous acquisitions for his spouse have included a $14 million Giacometti sculpture, a group of 40 paintings by Russian artist Ilya Kabakov priced at $30 minus $60 million each, and works by Francis Bacon $86 million and Lucien Freud $33 million.6. Diamonds aren't forever competing against the Sultan of Brunei and Aristotle Onassis, amongst others, Richard Burton lost out on a 68-carat diamond at auction in 1969.